What's going on, fellas? I've got a 2003 Honda Accord here, and I'm gonna use this car to show you a few helpful things that will help you out if you're having issues with your brake lights staying on or not coming on. I'm gonna show you how to change your brake pedal switch. That can cause a lot of these problems. And I'm also gonna show you the location of the fuse that sends power to the brake lights. So first things first, you know, there's a cover down here that we've got to remove to get to it. Your first step in doing that, you're gonna to want to remove this bolt right here. It's an eight millimeter or you can use a Phillips. Once you've got that bolt out, this whole trim piece is gonna come out. So you're gonna kinda of grab it and just pull it forward. There's a number of clips there that secure it. And don't forget to disconnect this switch here. That's for if you've got a sunroof. So I've got the sunroof switch disconnected. I can then move that piece out of the way. Now that's gonna free us up to drop this panel out. As you can see, it's retained by a number of clips here. So let's see, you just pull down on the panel. The clips are in the front and in the back it's retained by that piece going over a little rubber plug in the firewall. So we're gonna move this, get it out of the way. And looking up under here, it's gonna reveal to us our brake pedal switch. So this piece right here. Now, this is real common on a lot of Hondas, and this may have even been replaced before on this car. This rubber grommet goes into the lever for the brake pedal, and that's what the actual switch pushes on. And I have seen where these grommets can deteriorate and fall away. And if that's the case, it can end up with your brake lights staying on all the time. So that's definitely one thing for you to check if your brake lights won't go off. Now, as far as removing this, um, we can disconnect it. Not a big deal, there's a four pin connector on the back. And as far as removing the body of the switch, you just grab it, you rotate it counterclockwise and you pull it back. So this is your actual switch here. And to disconnect it, you push on that tab there. That's gonna free up the uh, switch. Kinda hard for me to do one-handed, but you get the idea. Now the way this switch works is when you're not pressing the brake pedal, this dowel is gonna be pushed in and that's gonna interrupt contact. When you hit the brakes, the brake pedal is gonna move away from where this is mounted and it's gonna allow the little dowel to pop out. Now when the dowel comes out, it actually activates the brake lights by connecting the white black wire right there to the red wire. So you can actually do that yourself if you connect those two pins together. Um, sometimes I'll actually use a fuse. If I have the right size fuse to fit in there, I'll push that in. And that should make your brake lights come on. The black white wire is what goes to the light bulbs and the red wire is what comes from the fuse. And I'll show you that fuse in just a sec. But I'll, I wanna make a note too about when you replace this, if you look carefully at it, you'll see it's notched in a lot of different places. So the idea of that is you can, it allows for some fine adjustment. So the way it's supposed to work when you have your new part and uh, you push it in there and I suppose you can go ahead and hook it up too. So you wanna push it in until it makes contact, push it in a little bit more. Now if you push it in all the way and then lock it, the brake pedal is gonna move quite a bit before the dowel comes out enough for the brake lights to come on. So you can actually fine tune the placement of it to where the brake lights come on immediately after you start to move that pedal. So it does allow for some fine adjustment there. Um, you can unlock it, move it around, lock it again. So you'll wanna fine tune that. And now we're gonna head under the hood and I'll show you where you can find the actual fuse. Now the fuse for this, it powers not only the brake lights, but the horn as well. And it's gonna be this 20 amp fuse right here. So that's the fuse for you to check. So yeah, that's everything I've got as far as troubleshooting the brake lights and the brake light switch, the stoplight switch for your Honda Accord. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please be sure to let me know if you've got any questions or more importantly, if you have any advice about troubleshooting the brake lights on your Honda Accord.
and thank you for watching.